Just don't spend some time <laughs> talking about one card like Atlas. I'm going to. Okay, um, Atlas. hey YouTube, your boy is back with a Zodiac Time Beast deck profile. It's 11 o'clock and we're right next to you, stop yelling. Who the fuck are you people? Get out of my house. I have to be loud, boisterous, and obnoxious so my favorite fan Kyle Burns will, you know, enjoy our content. Well, sucks for him. <clears throat> yeah, Neonectar fanboy. Um, okay, so the starter, Chronodron G. Basically- Wait, why isn't TikTok working your starter? <sighs> Because he likes Chrono too much. Yeah. You're right. This is Chrono this is Chrono Fanboy dot deck. Um so GB what oh, it's got Forerunner, because what the fuck starter doesn't these days. Um GB1, shove it into that the soul. Moon thing. Whenever you play something on Vanguard, you can call it something else. I don't care about that cat. <laughs> well it's a starter that doesn't have Forerunner. So You're a person without a reason to live. No, but no one's disputing that. <laughs> Anyway, um, don't, don't spend 15 minutes talking about one card. You're not talking about the card, you're talking about a forerunner. Gabe, we're losing views. Wait, we already, we already hit, the, at this point we've already hit the, um... 10 minute mark. The, <laughs> the 10 minute average review. Cut the video, we're done. Um, <clears throat> so, when you call a card, what this does is, when you call a card, um, Rick, it's at one battery. I don't care. Okay, when you call a... <laughs> When you call a card, um, <clears throat> uh, f to the field, I think it's other, from something other than your hand. Yeah, so like when you time leap something, which, you know, ideally is what would happen. Um, that's actually the only way you're gonna call something in this deck. Uh, other than normal, yeah, you get it. Um, so basically like, when you call a card other, um, from a place other than your hand, um, you can shove this unit into the soul. GB1, shove this unit into the soul, and then search your deck for a Zodiac Time Beast card with the, with a grade that is the same as the called unit, and call it out. Um, there's a combo that I'll go into later with one of the G units, Split Pegasus, uh, that basically just is like a nice first turn stride combo. So yeah, that's the starter. Um, for Chrono Dra Dragon G, y'all probably know what this does at this point. Um, Continuous during your turn for every two face-up G units in your G zone um, This unit gains 5k and all of your zodiac time beast rear guards gain 1k So if you have two they all gain one this gains five if you have four this gains ten they all gain two Dude, pretty basic um, And then its other ability is uh, when you stride a zodiac time beast or a gear dragon Call a card from your hand and time leap an, uh, a card you can you don't need to time leap the card you called You don't you, you can also you know just time leap yeah, you, you can do whatever you want with that. Just like call a different card, time leap another card. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's the main, uh, like, grade three of the deck. Three regular Chrono Jet. Everyone knows what this does. This is just backup because you need Chrono Jets in the deck. And one Chrono, uh, Chrono Fang Tiger G. Um, GB1, when it attacks, Counter Blast 1, I mean Soul Blast 1, choose one of your other rear guards and bind it. Um, after it attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, pick one of the units in front of this and send it back to your opponent's deck. <clears throat> okay. Um, again, it's like a Zodiac Time Beast, and in this you just want as many Zodiac Time Beasts as you can, especially Grade 3s. So moving on to the Grade 2 lineup. Two History Maker Dragon for time leap plays. Also, you do run um, the, uh, as some people call, are calling it, the Elite Four, which is, you know, TikTok, Melum, Upstream, and Urwitar. So you mainly use this for that combo. But also, time leaping is just really good, you know, for multiple attacks, more than three attacks. <laughs> Gabe, someone's calling you. Um, that's annoying. Two Delayed Blazer. <laughs> Gabe! <laughs> Cut to commercial. I'm back. So Delayed Blazer, um... Uh, when you call it, uh, from your hand... No, wait. When it's called from the deck, um... You can, uh... Oh, when a different when an, when an other, when another unit is called from the deck, this unit gains 2k. So 11k pokes, that's nice. But then its main skill is GB1 when it is placed onto rear guard by any means. If you have a Chrono Jet Vanguard, you can pick one of your other units and time or you can pick a unit that is grade two and time leap it. 
So you can call it and time leap itself for deck thinning. Um, or you can, you know, like, uh, you would, what, what you can do is um, attack with uh, Melum. And then um, you use TikTok to send Melum, call this out, and you know, you also get your grade zero. Uh, if you have um, History Maker, you can, you know, use that. You can use its skill uh, on Urbitar, or you can use this card to time leap your other grade two. Just a pretty solid card for the deck. Um, two Pulsar Shift Bullet Dragon. This is like, it's a pretty nice deck thin, and um, uh, it, it helps you, you know, ensure that you can stride next turn. Did you uh, say deck thinning, all bodies matter. Fuck positivity. No, only thin matter. Thick. P H A T, thick. God, no one's gonna enjoy this deck profile. <clears throat> Zodiac Time Beast, do expect people to enjoy it. True. It's not even, it's Zodiac Time Beast with, still with the Melum combo. You're right. <laughs> it's not Because Zodiac different. Time Beast is that terrible. Um, so Shift Bullet's skill is, uh, like, well, I mean, the small one at the bottom is when your Chrono Jet Vanguard attacks, this gains 2k, so more 11k pokes, but its main skill is GB2 at it's the end of the turn. It's 13 with next stage. Mm, kill you, hell. Um. What time is the tournament, Richard? <clears throat> 6 o'clock. Oh, I might be able to make that. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, but those are three. Um, at the end of the yeah, turn, you can counter yeah. GB2, counter bless one, and kill itself. Search Goals. your deck. Yes, yeah, same. Search your deck for two Chrono Jets. Um, add one to your hand, and I believe it's superior called the other. Yes. And then put the rest on the bottom of your deck and shuffle. Um, so, yeah. It deck thins, and it gets you stride fodder. So, good card. It's also a Zodiac Time Beast. Three um, pulsar tamer lugal ure. Uh, it it's a it sits at two k if you have a zodiac time. I mean, it sits at plus two k if you have a zodiac time beast vanguard because you know this duck doesn't need more eleven k beaters. Um, and then its other skill is GB one. When you drive check a grade three zodiac time beast, you may soul blast one and time leap this unit. So more eleven k pokes because this deck was really good. And finally, another 11k beat stick. Um, Chrono Beat Buffalo, continuous. If there's a grade three or greater Zodiac Time Beast on your Vanguard, plus 2k. Because this needed more 11k beat sticks. You might as well, you could honestly ditch this for the 10k, but like, it really doesn't matter. It just really doesn't. Moving on to grade ones. Two Melums to satisfy the Metafags. Three Chrono um, Ethos Jackal. GB1, uh, when this unit attacks, if you have a Zodiac Time Beast Vanguard, plus 4k. And because all the Zodiac Time Beasts are terrible, but I need multiples of I need multiple Zodiac Time Beast grade ones, I run one Chrono Charged Unicorn. On call, if you have a Zodiac, pick a Zodiac Time Beast and give it 3k. How practical, right? Make something even more of a beat stick. Three stride fodder. And four steam tamer arca. This is a Zodiac Time Beast um, PG. So first off, while it's a PG with a skill and you can, you know, guard for your rear, you can guard for your rear guards as well. The biggest issue with it is that you need to discard a Zodiac Time Beast unit. So like you want to run as many Zodiac Time Beasts as you can in this deck as is necessary, rather. Um, because you literally can't PG without that. Uh, thankfully, majority of the deck is Zodiac Timies. And then this other skill is, um, when this is in the drop zone during your main phase, uh, GB2, pick another Arca, and then a Zodiac Timies trigger. Send both of those to the bind zone and bounce this back to your hand. So, you know, if you already used two PGs, you can just get it back and ensure that you'll be able to perfect guard again. That's grade ones and zeros. One TikTok worker, because it's still good despite being limited and banned as a starter. Four um, heart thump worker, because, you know, plus 5k is nice. Three chrono volley rabbit, because you, you know, want crits, because that's what this game revolves around. And um, <clears throat> it's a Zodiac Time Beast trigger. One Urwitar for that plus engine. One Vainglory Dreamcat for the hetero round combo, which is, you know, 
hetero round use its skill when your opponent attacks you send one of you send their like attacking unit to the bottom of their deck it doesn't matter if they call you don't need to worry about that and then you use um this unit skill gb1 shove it to the um i believe it's send it back to the deck yeah, you return it to the deck shuffle and your Vanguard gains 10k when a card in your opponent's field is returned to their deck. So it makes, for your whole opponent's turn, it makes your Vanguard sitting at a permanent 21k. So it's like really nice for defense. I mean, you know, against like poke decks or higher powered decks, it's just really practical. You can also use it offensively. Three Pulsar Hypnosis Sheep. I actually like this card despite the fact that it's kind of bad, but like you mainly just use it for one of the G units in here. Its skill is um, GB1. When this card is called from hand, it gains the skill on rear guard. Um, after a unit attacked, a van after a unit attacked a vanguard, you may put this unit into the soul and pick one of your Zodiac Time Beast. Um, no, just shove this unit into the soul and uh, choose one of your other rear guards and send it to the bottom of your deck. After a unit attack, you may pay that cost and you may choose one of your Zodiac Time Beast units and restand it. Um, the biggest thing is you use it with crossover because crossover calls out two chrono jets and requires them to hit if you want to use its skill. So you only have two chances with crossover, but Hypnosis Sheep gives you you know, a third chance, and possibly a fourth, I don't, no, it wouldn't give you a fourth, never mind, um, because you need two rear guards, one plus this, and then, um, four chronotherapy hamster, because zodiac time beast, and it's a heal trigger, <clears throat> so, you know, g-guarding, moving on to the g-units, two chrono dragon gear groovy, it helps you further, um, you know, progress your gbs, uh, so you can, like, you know, just pump the shit out of Chrono, uh, out of, a uh, Chrono Jet Dragon G. Um, y'all know its skill. Uh, what sucks is that, like, aside from next stage, there aren't actually any really good auto-ability, um, gear dragons in this deck. Uh, so, uh, in the G deck. So, like, you, you, you really, I mean, you, you, you really just use it because, like, it, it is, it is effectively a better next stage. Like, it gains the plus 5k, it gains next stage's skill. Um, and like, you know, GB8 is coming out, and because of this card, Gear Chronicle is like the most easy, it's, it's the easiest deck to get to GB8. Um, and speaking of next stage, four of him, because, you know, it's a great card and you want to run it. You could run three, because, um, with a Groovy, uh, three is really all you need. I just don't always want to go into Groovy. Um, then one crossover dragon. So this card's actually really fun despite the fact that it kind of sucks because it's on hit skills with your rear guards. What it does is GB3, counterblast two. Um, if you have a chronojet heart, search your deck for two chronojets with different card names and call them to the um, field. And they both gain the skill um, when one of them hits, or I believe it's, yeah, they get the um, auto ability. When one of them hits the Vanguard, that unit, and you pick that unit and another of your Chrono Jet rear guard. Wait, choose one of your rear guards with Chrono Jet's card name and put this unit and the chosen unit into the soul. If it hits the Vanguard, pay the cost, restand your Vanguard. And that's why Hypnosis Sheep is good. If one of your um, Chrono Jet attacks fails, you can use Hypnosis Sheep to restand it. Or just the Zodiac 10 piece one. Yeah. Um, so you have three chances, basically, with Hypnosis Sheep. Then, uh, two Metallica Phoenix for the, um, Melum or Wittar TikTok combos. And, you know, just general time leaping because it's a great card and it's free. And, and also, it, you know, gets you to GB2 after turn one. I mean, after first turn stride. Um, two Metapulse are Split Pegasus. Uh, so its main ability is, uh, once per turn, act, counterblast one, and G-flip a unit, any G-unit. Um, so again, it gets you further to GB2, or just further along your path to GB8, which we'll inevitably have in this deck. Um, actually, that's probably what I'll ditch in next stage for. Uh, so you may pay that cost, pick one of your Zodiac Time Beast rear guards that is grade 1 or higher, send it back to the deck, and call out two units that are, um, one less grade than that card. So, you know, if you have a grade 3, you can get, like, two Lugal Ure, or you know, just any Zodiac Time Beast grade too. Um, one of my personal favorite combos though, is that 
I'll have a grade two. I'll use its. I'll use Split Pegasus's skill on the grade two. Turn it into um, Chrono Ethos uh, Jackal, and then I'll use Chrono John G's skill to get like another Jackal or Chrono Charge, and that way I'll have taken three grade ones out of my deck, and I'll have like a back row ready. Also, you know, um, Jackal can attack Jackal because it's you know a thirteen k or um eleven k. My bad. It can attack from the front as well. Like it just makes for a good poke. Um, so. It helps you deck thin and it gets you like attackers and boosters. So yeah, nice card. Um, one Huang Long, uh, I really don't use this card at all. Its skill is Counterblast 1. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard. Um, you may pay the cost, and if you do, choose a grade one or greater face um, face up card in your bind zone and add it back to the hand. So like, if you um, messed up on a uh, time leap or something, or like, you know, your time leap abilities or the, you know, the abilities of, like, some of your units, uh, like Arca, um, you know, because you have to bind stuff, Huan Long can get those back. So, like, for a turn, if you stride this and you have, like, an Arca, you know, you have two Arcas in drop zone, you can use one of the Arca's skills to bind the Arca and the trigger, get that Arca to your hand, and then after this attacks, you pay the Huan Long's cost, and you get a second Arca. So, guaranteed two PGs next turn. Um, for G guards, you have, uh, Two Uluru, um, retroactive time made an Uluru because you know who doesn't love sending your great who doesn't love sending units back to the deck and gaining a plus five k shield. Um, one highbrow steam Arlim. Uh, I honestly forget what this does. I just know it guards a lot. Um, it's choose two cards in total from your hand and drop zone with Chronojet and their different card names. So they have to be Chronojet but with different card names. So Chronojet G and normal Chronojet. Um, Put them on the bottom of your deck in any order. When this, when you guard with this unit, you may pay the cost. If you do, it gains 15k shield. So yeah, that's nice. You know, 30k guard right there. If you use that with like Vainglory also, which is unlikely because I don't know if you would do two G guards that aren't Uluru. Um, well, the possibility still stands. Your Vanguard becomes 21, and then you can guard for 51 right there. Would you possibly replace it for <clears throat> Rafana? Um, I would consider that. Yeah, yeah, because that helps to get out TikTok. Um, cause you can get out your zeros onto the field. It's, it is practical. Uh, so yeah, you don't need to run Arlem. It's just, you know, this game is so power creep that you kind of want to at times. Mm -hmm. Um, also this is more so like showcasing the new cards. I don't actually take this deck that seriously. Sounds uh, good. the time leap deck is better. Um, even though it got hit, like it's, you know it's still better. The time leap deck? Huh. Buddy fight? Yeah, you're right. Buddy fight's a better game, guys. Um, so the last G-Guard is Interdimensional Dragon, a hetero round dragon. Uh, when you G-Guard with it, Soul Blast 1, pick one of your opponent's rear guards, send it back to the deck, they shuffle their deck, and then they call the top card of the deck. So again, this you can use it with the Vainglory combo, where you have Vainglory on rear guard, which you can get through a series of time leaping. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> you use this unit skill, send their attacking unit to the deck, and then um, just make your Vanguard 21k. So the camera's about to die. That was the Zodiac Time Beast deck profile. I hope it helped. If you, have se if you have suggestions, I really didn't take this deck seriously while building it. I just sort of asked Richard for a deck. So, hey, maybe it's not optimal. Um, you so, don't care? No, I don't at all. So yeah, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. This is Miles from Nexus Core, signing off. <coughs> Bless you.